Okay, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat what this story is gonna be about. This is a motivational story. But, not because I have a win. It's actually because I have a big loss. What? I'm gonna frame this for you with one of my favorite quotes, and it's by Pierre Coubertin. He was one of the founders of the Olympic Committee. And he says, the important thing in life is not the triumph, but the fight. And the essential thing is not to have won, but to have fought well. So in life, you're gonna have to fight, and in tennis, you're gonna have to fight, right? Sport parallels life. And a lot of times along that fight, there's gonna be some losses, and it's not always gonna be a win. So that's why this story ends up with the win, because the journey is the way to the win. So 2019, right? We all know that is 2019. And 1997, my first year at Wimbledon, very two similar years. First, both were first round losses. Both were really painful experiences. And both were very motivating. In 1997, I was just turned 17 years old. I was a kid, I had braces. This was only my second Grand Slam tournament and I had no idea how to handle it. Behold the brand new So I got to be part of that opening and you know what they say, like a once in a lifetime opportunity, but this is like just a once in a never ever opportunity to get on this court and be part of the celebration to open court one. It was a real eye opener for me because I, I actually got to come to the tennis and I wasn't stressed. And I got to walk around the grounds and, and just take in and appreciate having played here because when you are here, you don't appreciate it because all you're thinking about is like working and winning and then you win or, or, or you lose and you leave. And I got to walk around and just soak in the atmosphere and say, wow, I get to do this. I get to play here. The first time I got here in general, I knew I could play and I knew I could win, but I didn't, I couldn't handle the pressure yet. The, and it wasn't even the pressure from outside sources. I mean, maybe that comes in a little bit, 10%, 5%, but it was really the pressure of myself, the pressure from me. And I, I couldn't handle it. It was just too tough. It was too tough. So. It's, it's normal, it's natural to choke. Mm. That was That's just a part of it, especially when you're first coming on tour, but I was determined to learn from it and to do better. Like that wasn't my destiny was to choke out and, and fall down. My destiny was to rise. That's what I believed. And I see both results as an opportunity. There's an opportunity for me to look deep inside myself and find out why, the top opportunity to take responsibility for my life, for God's sakes. And an opportunity for me to be bigger, be stronger, be more, be greater. Yeah. You just have to be prepared. You have to be confident, you have to be ready that on any given day, against any given player, any given thing can happen. And the only thing you control is you and control your body. Control your shot. You can't control what's going on across the net. There's no magic formula. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. As long as you're enjoying your time on the court, as long as you're giving it 100%, and as long as you're learning and evolving with each and every match. And that's, that's all I ask for myself. Okay, so we wrapped practice, it's now 1.59, so it's been about 19 minutes warming up. My warm-ups are really, really, really short because I try to save my energy all for the match. And if by this time, if you can't play, you never will be able to. So it's just a, like a little groove, hit some forehands and backhands, some surge returns, couple of volleys, and get ready to play the match. We're leaving the practice side. It's time to get ready to go play. First match. It's time. No better time than now. Corey Coco Goff came out and played just 15 years of age. 
and against a player of Venus's caliber who played a good match. So first round, I, I felt good. I had great practices. I had a great tournament going into the to Wimbledon, and then you play the first round and nothing goes right. What do you do? How do you come to terms with this? That is exactly what happens. You have to come to terms with what happens on the court. You gotta move forward. And one of my favorite quotes from Martin Luther King is, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. The first process is just letting go because you, as you walk to the net, you can't even believe that the match is over. So it's just like this feeling of shock. It's like you hit icy water. It's like, this isn't even real. And so just, you know, the first day or so is just processing it like, okay, I've got to let this go. But at the same time, you're thinking, what could I have done better? And at the same time, also like making that plan of, all right, this is, this is my plan. This is what I'm going to do. I think what I learned more than anything also from this match is that I love to compete. I love my job, I love what I do, and I love having the opportunity to do that. And I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity and I want to take advantage of it. It doesn't matter what stage you are in your game or in your life, as long as you have an opportunity to hold that racket in your hand, it's the best opportunity in the world. That's, that's pretty much what I feel about it. After a loss, you can't allow yourself to just become completely lost. It's, it's quite easy because it's emotional. Stuff's it's just real stuff in real time. There are no do-overs in sport. So part of it is letting go, and then the next part is rising up. The wins are exciting. When you get the win, you're, you're so happy. And you don't reflect on it as much as you do the loss. So really the loss is more of an opportunity in the sense that you learn more about you, you learn more about yourself, and you, you build this courage, you build this character. So my opportunity right now is to build more character. My opportunity now is to have that courage. And my motivation now is to win. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please follow me and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And you can also shop my looks in this video. The links are in the description box. Okay, I'll see you guys next week.